I'm gonna make my annual traditional Christmas Eve dinner. The whole ritual is that we eat grilled cheese sandwiches and have very high-end champagne. And you know, my body screams out for some vegetables, so there's a big pot of soup. Usually in December, in the supermarket, which is where I'm shopping, this is about what's available. Not, you know, the world's most luscious produce. For me, that's good as gold. Turns into excellent soup. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start very low. I'll probably chop the hard things, onions and celery. You know, the nice thing about owning a restaurant, being a chef, for me, in terms of writing, is that basically, when I'm on the line and the plates are coming down, you taste something that's oversalted or undersalted or whatever. So you don't wait for it to go out to the customer and have them send it back. You are the arbiter of the quality. Oof, here's the crying time. I started to bring that to the writing project as well. I was not waiting for you know, an editor to let me know if I had succeeded. I could look at the page and objectively say, you know, this is too salty. <laughs> So I'm gonna cut these squash and zucchini. I'm gonna use the little firm parts. The tedium of the vegetable prep would be seriously leavened by blasting Christmas music, but not jingle bells. <laughs> so I just made cauliflower into these tiny little florets. So everything's gonna fit in the spoon. Have you put the iPhone in the quart container trick? If you don't have a dock to, you know, blast your music, you can stick your iPhone in a quart container and it amplifies the sound tremendously. It's really cool. If you just do this and lay it on the counter. Okay, not bad. It's so much richer. <laughs> Does that make a difference for you? This feels very sandy, so I'm gonna rinse this a lot. And then eat a few leaves before you put it in your soup because there's nothing worse than sand. Okay, maybe hair. Hair is bad too. Now, it looks thin and watery and not luscious. Don't worry. <laughs> That's what the olive oil and the bouillon is gonna do. Let's make a grilled cheese. The basic sandwich is always just like a peasant bread and the cheddar cheese. But as the night progresses, I do get a little creative sometimes and put bacon and blue cheese or cheddar and pickled jalapenos. I know we're splitting hairs here, but I'm thinking about cheese to bread ratio. This is about right, kind of a fine slice. That looks good. I'll heat the pan up over medium for now. This is the greatest cooking medium of all time for a grilled cheese sandwich. It gives you uh, a longer cooking time so you don't burn and it doesn't stick to the pan. Maybe this is gonna take 10 minutes in total by the time we're done. And I think it's time to make the soup have some flavor. <laughs> it's got all the vegetable happening and now I'm just gonna put salt and fat in in the form of possibly this whole bottle of olive oil. That just even looks better with the fat floating on top. My mother used to cook with Noor um, soup mixes in a pinch when she had to. I'm gonna just break this up a little bit. There's one. I think I'll do two and see what happens. I don't want chicken stock. Right now, I want that sort of MSG goodness from the bouillon cube. It doesn't taste like Susie's Rainbow Vegetarian Cafe. This now tastes like real soup. I'm gonna get a spatula. Oops, come back here. Oh, that's not a bad thing. Now we have a little, what's gonna make nice lace. Mm, I love that part. About this golden brown is good. And then there's champagne. <laughs> this whole Christmas Eve, there's champagne only. There's no water. <laughs> This is what we do, this is it. The, the grilled cheese costs nothing, the vegetable soup costs next to nothing. Put your money this in is the where the money goes. <laughs>